So starting to train in touch, you need to do something which I find quite difficult, the Vulcan food grip or the Vulcan wave. You're going to put that food between your fingers, but it's hidden. You're not going to hold it like this. Too obvious. We're going to disguise the food initially, and then we're going to offer it to Maka. But notice I'm rewarding from my spare hand. It's an extra little trick that can advance your training quite quickly. Maka. Offering the food in my Vulcan grip, rewarding from my spare hand. If you do reward from this hand, like this, it's fine. But we want to reduce a reliance on seeing or smelling the food prior to doing the touch. Now, we're gonna have no food in the hand. We're gonna offer it out. As soon as Maka touches it with his nose, we're gonna reward from our spare hand. He's already good at this, so the next stage is very simple for him, and that's adding the word touch. You want to add it, Maka, just before touch the moment they make contact with their nose. So they realize that there's a link between the word and the behavior. They get the understanding of what that word means. Maka. Maka. Touch. Once you've created that association and they understand it, you can use it as far away as you like. Maka. You can also start to play around, good boy, with the hand that you offer. Maka, touch. Good boy. Maka, touch. Good boy. Maka, touch. And because he's good at this, I don't have to reward every time nowadays. Good boy. Come on. Touch. Good boy.